During the Broadwater farm riots in 1985, Bernie Grant stood beside the people of Tottenham. It was a defining moment in his career. Um, in terms of the damage to the community, well, that's incalculable. It was not without controversy. Some branded him anti-police. But to many, Bernie Grant was a hero. It's hugely important for generations after this to be able to look back and recognise the huge contribution that Bernie made to a multicultural London and a multicultural Britain. I do suddenly, sincerely and truly declare and affirm. From the moment he was elected as a Labour MP in 1987 and attended the state opening of Parliament in traditional Ghanaian dress to his death in 2000, Bernie Grant was a charismatic and outspoken figure. I think that we need to channel the energies of the young people into political action. The job of immortalising him in an artwork fell to this Tottenham artist who had to find ways to get to know his subject without ever having met him. Sometimes you have to like ruffle the feathers in order to have change, you know, and he wasn't afraid to do that, which is kind of where my inspiration for him kind of led from, knowing that regardless of the resistance and like the, the barriers that people tried to deter you, he was passionate and he wanted to get his word across, you know, and pioneering for, for change and equality. I heard audio, heard his voice, countless photographs. The work is entirely in pencil, the first in this medium that will hang in Parliament. It took 180 hours. The portrait is now here at Portcullis House and will hang alongside former colleagues of Bernie Grant, Diane Abbott and Paul Berting, who were elected to Parliament that same year, 1987. I feel as I could reach out and touch him. Bernie Grant's widow has complimented the artist on the likeness he has captured. I think the, the portrait's important, not just from the point of view of him, his acceptance and his family. I think it's a, probably an honour too for a whole generation who felt that he reflected their experience and uh, they'll feel that perhaps somewhere in the House of Commons there's some, somebody that is listening to them and their generation and what they experienced. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.